Hey guys, this is GreenyXI welcoming you to Let's Play Lundra episode 53. Now it's time to, for the village of Anoa to make their decision about what to do next. Be wary of Ronan. I can sense that he's planning something. I just don't know what. That's what we got to do next. We have to go visit Ronan. Okay. The silver armor has been in my family for as long as our family can remember, but I want you to have it. Just promise me you won't scratch it up too much, okay? I'm gonna have to pass this down to my kids someday, you know? There we go. We, f we can finally get the silver armor. And it's free, too. Oh. Nearly fell. <laughs> thank you. I say thank you. Um, This is the best armor in the game that I've ever got. I th I'm pretty sure it is. Holy Vest of Silver. Wait, wait, wait. Items. Herb. Need a herb. Four Gilda today. See, she's dropped her prices a bit now. Pleasure serving you, Alundra. For obvious reasons. Because we're a hero. No, okay. It's just seeing if there's anything being... That replaced... The, oh, bloody hell. Replaced the armour. <laughs> um... Before we go see Ronan, there is something. Oh. Darkness has for power inside. See, now we can't be told where to go or anything. By her. Or be fully healed at that. Oh, nothing down the while. Ah, I remember now. I remember. I know, my laptop is starting to get louder. Last time that happened was when the video and audio desynced. So, <laughs> I'm sorry if it happens again. I don't know why. At all. It's weird. But yeah, before we go and see Roland. Ronan. Not Roland. <laughs> I keep saying that. I want to get a Wonder Essence, which we can get by teleporting to the shop by the Cliffs of Madness. Because it is going to be a tough part. I think it's this one. Let's try this one. Please. Please. Yeah. <clears throat> going to be visiting the shop once, maybe twice more in the entire game. See, the entire game is hardly anything left of the game. Oh my god, what's what? Why the new boon? <laughs> yeah, on this. 200 gil? Duh. Okay, we've got plenty of money anyway. Seriously, that was quite expensive. <laughs> it was. Let's teleport back. I want to save before going back, even though it hasn't been long since I saved. I, I don't want to be heading for the shop again. Front in Ronan. <laughs> oh wow, only 14 hours. Should finish this game by the maybe the 20 hour mark? Wow. I'm impressed. <laughs> I am proud of myself. And I don't care if you guys are or not. Harsh but true. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> Saying random crap. Up here, back into the village. There have been quite a few. See, you can't go through there anymore, so if you haven't been to the pub and stuff by now. Well, you can still go to the pub, but. You can't get the pass, so if you haven't gotten the pass by now, you're screwed, pretty much. Let's go and see Roland then. Ronan! Oh my god! <laughs> <sighs> I'm not even going to crack myself from now on. It's not even important. Automatic walk in. Ah, I'm so cold. Dying from pneumonia. <laughs> 
I knew, knew that I should have smite you when I first had the opportunity. Before you came, we all prayed to the gods. Then you arrived. And we began to die gruesome, horrid deaths as our gods turned their favour from us. And worse, our relationship with the gods has been destroyed. But it can yet be repaired. The gods will forgive us if only we offer your soul in sacrifice. <laughs> yes, okay. This part... Oh, hang on. I'll tell you in a sec. Door's been locked behind us. Keisha, you certain? I don't think Alundra would have entered the sanctuary alone. I've never been more certain of anything, Lord Beaumont. But we know Ronan despises Alundra. What's to stop him from trying to harm him? Damn, locked tight. The dead bolt must be set on the other side. Okay. This boss is bloody hard. Is is by far the hardest boss in the game so far. So make sure you have every item you possibly can for healing and have the water book by now if possible to fully heal you. Give you to the supplication of our humble servant. I beg of you, O Great One, to give me power to destroy the demon that is invading our dreams. And Mel just turns him into a demon. Oh, <laughs> now this is more like it. I shall not let you down, wide, wise, wide? <laughs> right, wise Lord Malzus. Now, Alundra, it seems as if Lord Malzus has taken pity on your miserable soul. How so? Well, with this beautiful body, I shall slay you so quickly that you will feel no pain. You must be so happy, huh? What's the matter with you, child? You seem unsettled. Are you frightened? How posi positively endearing. But it's much too late for fear, Alundra. Come now, step forth to receive your eternal judgment. Okay. I'm gonna put these on for more defense. Can't do damage when he's down on his back like that, so watch out for the shadows and try not to be on them. Oh crap. Keep on going, charging up your sword. And, yeah, this is pretty much all you can do. I don't know what other hints I can give. He's a tough boss. If you have the... It's another sword you can get, an optional one. But, I mean... Oh, no. Start off with the herbs, I think. Probably best. Nope. I really wish I had more to say. <laughs> it is the whole point of watching these series. Um, yeah. I wouldn't waste your spells. Yeah, magic crystals. Seeds. On damaging spells. I would just use it on healing. Because you might desperately need it. Once you destroy all these things orbiting him, he takes a second to get them all back up. So it might be a good time to heal. Not that you need time to heal. See, I don't know. I guess it's all... Depends on how much skill you have at dodging his attacks and stuff. And whether you use the ring or these silver armlets. Nope, missed. So yeah, his back is like a bit of armour. Or is it his head? Uh, the mana, okay. mm 
me gain loads of attacks. Oop, that's a waste. Wasting nothing. Time. Yeah, I'll do it. The problem we have is, um, I think once you beat this boss, you can't use the shop anymore, or at least the normal shop, so it's changing strategy a bit. So that's good. Means he's getting weaker. Oop. <laughs> Look how many attacks we're getting. I think if we'd been using the ring, then he'd be dead by now, but... Also, we might have run out of a lot of healing items and stuff. Ah, there we go. We're done. So yeah, definitely the toughest boss so far, but... He's the first one I ever had trouble with anyway. Real trouble. Hideous thing that Ronan had become has been slain. Yep, 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 yep. Only two real bosses left in the game. As well as two dungeons. But I guess for the last dungeon you could say that there were two bosses there. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Either way, two dungeons left. Oh, Lord Malthus. I am your... Ah, uh, bye, Ronan. That's another of the villagers dead. Mendra, you all right? What of Ronan? Good as triumph of triumphs over evil. Why are you saddened? Because Ronan was just a tool, Septimus, a pawn in the cruel game Malthus plays with our lives. Oh. It's a nice way to put it. Till all this has ended, we will stay here inside the sanctuary. These strong walls will keep us safe if and when the Murg attack again. They do not need to break down the walls, they can attack us from our own dreams. Or have you already forgotten? Both Burgus and Estus are here with us, Gustav. So they can't travel through twins' dreams. Calm down, Gustav. I can promise you the Moog cannot invade our dreams. Burgus and Estus were a special case. Fine. I have no reason to distrust you, Maya. But tell me this. If Malthus invades our nightmares, what then? Not even you and Alundra combined could save us all. All we are doing is waiting for Malthus to extinguish our lives. Silence. We're not here to die, Gustav. We came here to join forces and fight for life. Everyone here has suffered the loss of a loved one. So spare your, spare your pity or something like that. <laughs> Please, everyone, let's calm down and listen carefully. Our power to create was taken from us by Malthus. So, we developed the power to control our dreams. And that is our secret weapon. We can use that power to control the power that Ma Malthus has given. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> but, how, Beaumont? We are going to join hands and relax until we drift into sleep. And then... We shall dream the exact same dream. You mean, we are going to combine our dreams? Turn our weak dreams into a single strong one? We will arrive in the same nightmare as... Dream? Oversimplified, but yes. We shall dream about an incredibly strong hero. A hero under our control, who shall join with Alundra to destroy Malthus. To tell the truth, Beaumont, I can't picture what a hero would look like. I think we should dream of someone we all know well. One we can easily conjure up. I agree with Yuri. If even one of us has a different mental image than the others. Might not work. I have an idea. Why don't we simply visualise Alundra? I think we're all very familiar with his appearance. And I cannot imagine anyone more heroic. Does anyone disagree? Hmm, not a bad idea, Septimus. Yes, I can dream of Alundra, Septimus. I think we all can. Alright, the choice has been made. Wait, not yet. Before we begin to dream, there's something we must do. Alundra is about to risk his life facing Malzus. Think about it. Don't you think there is something we can do for him? What do you mean? Oh, now I know. So do I, Mia. 
Do we all understand? Excellent. Well then, enough talk. It's time for us to dream. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And there we go. I don't know if you remember, but in Sybil's last prediction, Lutus died, the one standing at the top right with blonde hair. And because of that, just made the Holy Sword. Well, we've changed it, obviously. Receive the Holy Sword <laughs> by them all dreaming. Or imagining the same thing. This is what we feel, Alundra. Um, Alundra, we know you can defeat Malzas. We give you all of our faith, our heart, our strength. So, yeah, we've got the best sword, apart from the optional one, which you have to keep dying over and over, and it, the game sort of feels some sympathy and gives you <laughs> a better sword when you visit a certain statue. But hey, a bit of lightning in the attack as well, and a bit more range, I think. And it does more damage, of course. So there we go. I want nothing more than to fight with you, Alundra. The fact that it cannot angers me, yet at the same time, fills my heart with sadness. Yep, there we go. We are now done with with the village, actually. We never need to really return unless we want to. Which I will, because we might want to save or... Just have a look around, maybe. As you know, we have one more crest to find out of the seven. Slow talking. I know that my timing is horrible, Alundra, but I must tell you something. I have the most sickening feeling within the pit of my soul. The feeling that Melsus is more powerful than any of us dare to believe. I don't know what has come over me, <laughs> Alundra. I feel so strange. I don't understand it. Be careful, Alundra. And the church door's been locked. Hello, Cephas. Forgot about you. <laughs> I guess you realise that Nava and I are different from the other villagers. But you probably don't realise how different. We are Zolist, a race of humans with tremendous lifespans. We were ordered by the Guardians to watch over Melzas, to make sure he would never return and to stop him if he tried. Today, at last, we follow through on our promise. By Melzas' services, we shall enter this palace and we will destroy him. The seventh and last quest is in Nava's possession. Go now, Alundra. Claim it for yourself. It's, um, the next dungeon is the one but last, and that is where we go and see Nava again, down in, down by the beach, in that crashed, crashed ship. I'm trying to get a bit of health back, set. Actually, sorry, I can do this off camera. Um, this has been Green XI. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you in a bit when we go for the final crest.